Hey friends, it's Amy Dove, the Keto Queen. It's Thursday. It's almost the weekend and I wanted to jump on really quickly because guys, I was trying to record for you earlier and I just kept losing connection in my backyard. I never had a backyard before, so I don't know if my internet service has always been bad in the backyard, <laughs> but I know it is right now. So I just contacted my internet service agent to see if they can give me some better connection in my backyard because I plan to spend a lot of time in this backyard. So I want to jump on real quick guys just to kind of reiterate what I was saying earlier today. If you missed that video or if you just had to hang up on me, I totally get it because I kept freezing up, but I wanted to make sure I do get this across to you guys. Hey Jan, how are you? I want to jump on just for a second to give a checkup. Like I want to see how everybody is, where you're at, where's your head going right now? How are you feeling? Uh, give you some honesty on where I am in my personal journey with keto um, and just kind of answer some question guys if you have any questions. So as you jump on, let me know where you're watching from. So buddy, I know you were on my video earlier. It just kept freezing up on me. So I wanted to come back because it's really, it just did it again. I have contacted my internet service people to see if they can give me some better connection. So sorry guys. If, if I freeze up like I just did, I'm going to pause for a second because it's really, really important that we talk about this subject. Guys, we are not always, always, we are not, I mean, it just heard me say a curse word. <laughs> Let me see if I even have my Wi-Fi on. Give me one second. Yes, I do have my Wi-Fi on, so I don't know what's going on. But it's important that we have this conversation because, guys, we're not always going to be happy. We're not always going to be exactly where we want to be as far as our health journey. We're not always going to be where we want to be as far as our mental state. Like, we live a life, guys, that is a life that is not perfect. There is no perfect life. There's no perfect person. I'm the Keto Queen now for uh, working on my fourth year. I'm starting my fourth year, the Keto Queen, and still, I am not always. Still, I'm not always happy or where I feel like I should be four years keto. I have no idea. All right, maybe I can get closer to the house. All right, maybe if I get closer to the house, I won't lose connection. I'm getting out of the hot tub for you guys. All right, so <laughs> as I was saying... We're not always going to be exactly where we want to be, okay? We're not always going to be where we feel we should be because we live in a life that's not perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. The world sure is not perfect. There's a lot of people out there who love to hurt other people. Right now, I'm in a situation where I have been very dis appointed <laughs> and very depressed about a situation that has definitely put some stress on me and stress on my life and stress on my body, stress on my journey. So guys, you're going to go through the same things. Like we're not always going to be the perfect keto queen or the perfect mom or the perfect wife or the perfect friend. We're not always going to be that person even though we want to be. And that's good that you want to be. Keep that mindset. We want to do the best we possibly can every single day. We always want to strive to be like Christ, right? To do the best we can, to be the best person, to get closer and closer to that, that, uh, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I was in the hot tub, so I'm trying to talk to you guys with some good service because it kept uh, locking up on me earlier. So I wanted to just check in. How are you doing? Tell me how you're doing. I am doing good but I'm not the necessary, I'm not the, the happiest I've ever been uh, in my journey with keto. I'm not the happiest. Uh, I have definitely put on a lot of inches and definitely some weight. I don't get on the scale, so I really can't tell you exactly what I put on as far as weight goes. But I know I put on inches because my clothes are tight and I'm in a bikini right now, but I don't feel the best that I, I usually am <laughs> when it's summertime and I want to feel great this summer, right? Don't you? So that's why I want to check in just to see how people are feeling and give you some encouragement, give you some advice. Uh, so ask me any questions you might have uh you just have to apologize because my, my porch was still doing work so yeah there's still ladders and crap back there just ignore that uh but i want to just check in so barbara says she fell off the wagon and gained 15 pounds back she's on the wagon a week ago so that's wonderful congratulations barbara i'm glad you jumped back on because guys this is the thing for me anyway when I do make those choices to, to steer away from keto or low carb, you don't have to be keto forever, okay? I plan to because I love keto and I love the way it makes me feel. I love the energy I get from my ketones that I drink and my body creates. So I plan to stay keto. That doesn't mean I'm going to be perfect keto every single day. It doesn't mean I'm ever going to go, uh, I'm never going to get over 50 uh, carbs in a week or a day. I may do that every once in a while. It's okay. But my plan is to stay keto because I feel amazing. Now, Barbara, I'm glad that you decided to jump back on board because this truly is, I can tell you from my own experience, this truly is. Okay, I came straight fully into the house now so I can talk to my friends. 
uh, I am going to get this internet fixed and checked out for sure. Anyway, I was saying this truly is a life changing situation where you really start to look at food differently. Food is used for fuel, not just for fun, not just for stress relief, not just for happy times, not for sad times, but it's actually used for fuel because we know what we eat and what makes us feel good. So I'm glad that you did decide, um, Barbara, to come back towards keto or low carb because it really is going to make a difference in the long-term uh, goals of your health. So congratulations for doing that. Some people, honestly, uh, they get in a rut they make a bad choice, get in a really bad rut, and then they never fully are able to make that transition back to low carb, and they feel it. They send me messages. Uh, they're not happy. They're not feeling good. They're back on medications, uh, and they want help. So I'm so glad, Barbara, that you made that choice, and I really am uh, very proud of you. So Barbara's been honest. Guys, let me know how you're feeling right now, how you're doing. Hey, Kimberly from Oregon. I see Terry Jo. Gina says she's not feeling great. Was doing great. Uh, until Christmas, can't seem to get back on track. So there definitely is a track. When we talk about low carb or keto, a lot of people talk about a wagon, like jumping off the wagon, jumping in the wagon. I really don't like to look at it that way because no one is gonna stay in a basket. Like you can't stay in a basket. You just can't, remember, we're human. <laughs> we are gonna want something different every once in a while. So you can't just sit in the same basket or in a wagon all the time. But there is a track, you know, there definitely is a track. And you either can stay the course and stay on track to where you feel good. You might have some slow progress, some stopped progress, uh, some fast progress, but you still feel good and you are on a path. So there is a track. And you do wanna kinda of stay towards your track. That way, I gotta go come outside because it's cold in the house. Uh, you do have to kinda of stay towards or on that track for long-term success because we want long-term success, right? How many of you guys like me have been on that yo-yo diet where you're just up and down and up and down? I've been 123 pounds, I've been 190 pounds, I've been 140 pounds, I've been 185 pounds, but it was always back and forth, back and forth. And yes, it took hard work and dedication to get to the smaller scale sizes, but I don't look at the scale anymore and I don't kill myself. Like I'm living a life that's uh, fun, it's easy, it's not always perfect. And even though, Gina, we do sometimes decide to get off that track or steer away from the track, you can still get right back there. You can, you just have to be dedicated to say, hey, I don't feel good. And that's the reason we make that change back, right? Because we don't feel good. That's why I have in the past, my three years keto, I have strolled off that track. And like within two weeks, I'm like, oh man, my stomach is sick. Uh, my joints are hurting, I can't sleep good. And I'm like 100%, uh-uh, I'm going right back. And it's not to say I can't have a piece of cake or you can't have pizza or you can't go to a birthday party and, and splurge at a birthday party with ice cream. It's not saying that, it's saying we live a lifestyle where on occasion we may choose to have those things, but not the norm because it doesn't make our body feel good. And because our bodies don't feel good, we start to have pains. We can't sleep. We are depressed. <laughs> Our energy is gone. So that's why the reasons I like to stay keto or stay low carb is just because of the way I feel. Uh, so Gina, you can get back on track. You just have to focus. You have to have some encouragement. Like you, everyone needs encouragement. I need encouragement, don't you? Everybody needs encouragement. So you have to find that encouraging partner, not necessarily someone who's gonna say, I'm gonna do keto with you because if they stop, then you'll feel like, oh, maybe I should stop. No, you need someone who's gonna encourage you to be better, a better, the best version of you. That's what you need. I'm here for you guys. I love to encourage people. I love to be that person. I am that person, that's who I am. <laughs> but you may need someone in your own home. You may need someone in your circle of friends or your, your place of employment, but get you a partner, not a diet partner. Partner. This is not a diet, it's a lifestyle change, but someone who can encourage you. So you need an encouraging partner, Gina. And I recommend that for everyone. Uh, let's see, from Alabama. I didn't know you lived in Alabama. Uh, let's see, hey, Shauna, how are you? I still use that cup you made me. Uh, <laughs> hey, Brandy, Jennifer. I see Cassidy. I'm just checking in to see how you guys are doing. Kimberly said I slack every day on something, but when I wake up the next day, it's a new day, and that is so right. Now, I'll tell you, my husband used to always, always bug me with a thing of Mondays. He'd say, eat it. It's all, Monday's just two days away, or there's all, next Monday's coming, and my husband would always say that because my husband, he likes a little, he likes a little thick girl, and that's okay because I'm never going to be thin. <laughs> But he likes a little thick girl. He likes uh, he, he likes that song, Megan Trainer. It's all about the bass, right? <laughs> 
all the right junk in all the right places. That's my husband. So he, you know, would always say, oh, Monday come, Monday's coming, Monday's coming. And I would do so good. And then that lack of encouragement, not because he wanted me to be fat or he wanted me to be skinny. He always wants me to be happy. But because of that, I always would sabotage myself. Like I would do it all the time. So now I have spoken to my husband and he knows not to say that to me. That's just not encouraging for me. I ha you have to find that encouraging partner and tell them what you need. And don't be feel, don't feel bad about that. You got to tell them, say, this is what I need from you. If you want me to be in better health, if you want me to have energy, if you want me to go on vacations and hike with you, if you want me to play in the yard with the kids, if you want me to stay up late and do the laundry, <laughs> if you need me to clean these baseboards, then you need me to have energy. So you have to tell your partner or your encouraging partner, whoever that is, whether that's your, your spouse or your, um, your significant get over the other, your parent, whoever, whoever that is, tell them what you need, uh, from them to be encouraging because there's nothing wrong with that. And we need that encouragement. Um, Hey Shirley, I see Sabrina, Barbara. She, okay. I already talked about that. Uh, Tina. Hey Tina. Oh, Shelly is mentally drained. Shelly, I totally get you, honey. I have been there. I have been there recently. Uh, mental stability and focus is very important for everything in life. Uh, so yes, I totally get that. And sometimes when you get that draining, that mentally draining state, you just have to figure out what to do to, to kickstart yourself back on the right track mentally as well. It's not just all physically, uh, a lot of us mental. So again, that encouraging partner, I highly recommend everyone get a partner. I'll be glad to be your partner if you want me to, but you need someone um, besides me as well. Jan said, you helped me lose almost 60 pounds. Thank you, Jan, that's so awesome. Congratulations, and she's maintained it. Yes, give Jan some hearts, everybody. Oh, thank you so much, Jan. I hope that's so sweet. Everybody give Jan hearts right now. Heart, 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 heart. Yay, Jan. I'm so excited for you. That's one of the things I love about keto because this is my fourth year. I'm starting my fourth year this month keto. But the most awesome thing is other than 2020 stress, I have maintained it all. And I've done the yo-yo up, down, up, down, up, down, 120, 180, 140, 190. I've been there all my life. And this is the first time that I've been able to maintain my weight loss, but not only that, my stability and my health and my energy level. So, Jan, I hope even after those 60 pounds, you continue to maintain, but also feel amazing and be proud, girl. Tell everybody about it. That's so awesome. I'm proud to be a part of that journey. Uh, hey, Charles, how are you? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> All right. Do we have any other questions? Any other suggestions that I'm not throwing out? Any questions? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to see what other videos there are. Hey, Aunt Frances. I thought y'all were coming to get in the spa. What happened? I done got in and got out. I had to get out. I can't handle darn good service down there. I just I just uh, texted my neighbor, who's my internet server service per person, and told him I've got to have some internet in the back backyard because we just put this backyard in, so we're going to be spending a lot of time in the backyard. i got to have good internet service. I can't stand up here in my back door. <laughs> I can't go in the house right now because I'm freezing. I still have my bathing suit on. So anyway, guys, if you're just jumping on, tell me. I want to know how you're feeling, where you are today as far as your focus, and how you're feeling about where you've been. So... Is it 15? Is 15? Okay, hang on. Is 15 pound weight gaining maintaining? Felicia. <laughs> Felicia, don't be so hard on yourself. I'm gonna have to find out where you live and come and give you a big hug. Uh, I have probably, I'm not getting on the scale because I just hate the scales. Even though I tell you guys all the time we need to be proud of where we are, I'm proud of where I am and the way I feel and the way my clothes fit, but that scale does a number on my mind. So I'm not getting on it, Felicia. I guarantee you I've probably gained 15 pounds myself, if not more, because I can feel it in my clothes and I can see it in my face. I can see it everywhere. So I know it's there. So Felicia, let me tell you this though. If you've lost more than 15 pounds before and you've gained 15 pounds and you're maintaining that, you still are maintaining. You haven't gotten back to the 40 or the 50 pounds that you originally had lost. So girl, yes, she feels great. I'm so glad to hear that, Felicia. <laughs> 
Because <laughs> if you wasn't feeling great and you didn't get uh, positive, I was going to come to your house and give you a big hug. Hey, Pippa, how are you? So, I want to know, though, how are you guys feeling? I'm so glad you feel good, Felicia. Uh, I am struggling just like you, girlfriend. I promise. There are lots of us still struggling from 2021. Or 2020. I'm sorry. It's 2021 now. But we are still struggling because 2020 just put a toll on us, guys. Put a toll on our 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 uh, mental state. It put a toll on our energy and our focus. And golly, Bill, I mean... Stress was just crazy in 2020 for all of us for a lot of different reasons, but we are in 2021. So we've got to put the past behind us, focus on what we need for the future, be an encouragement to each other. Guys, I'm a part of so many groups and it has killed me watching people seriously just hammer down on these, these, these people. Like they think they're, I don't know who they think they are. I don't know if they think they're doctors or they think they're I don't know what's going on, but people are just mean. And I'm going to tell you, we need to be a, a nation of encouragement. We need to be a, 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 a strong group of women who take care of each other and look after each other and promote good health and promote positivity and promote encouragement. If I ever see any of that negative crap on my page, I will close this page right up. It's just not what it's about. We're supposed to be helping each other. So guys, be an encouragement to the people around you. If you're a part of some low-carb groups and you see something negative on there, don't shame other people. Don't get in all that crap, but say some encouraging words to that person because they don't post things to get beat down on. They don't post things uh, to get judged upon. And my gosh, it just makes me so mad. <laughs> But guys, I hope that you're getting some encouragement tonight. I just wanted you to know that we're all on this journey together. None of us are perfect. We all have our ups and downs. Uh, I have, I don't even, I don't even know if I want to try on shorts for the summer yet because I can't get into a couple of pair I've tried on. But you know what? It's okay. It's going to be okay. Even if I have to buy some new shorts that are a little bit bigger, it's going to be okay because we are going to maintain this lifestyle. Whether we're in stress or not, we're going to uh, be an encouragement to other people. We're going to feel great even if we've put on some inches. And those inches will eventually come off because your stress levels are going to eventually come back to normal. And um, we're going to move our bodies. Like we've got to, to move our bodies because that makes us feel good, right? And it also helps with those inches. <laughs> All right. Any questions? Now I'm just rambling. I'm not answering any questions. I hope you have a great night. I just want to come back because I know my video just kept freezing up on me earlier. But uh, I hope you guys have an awesome night. And if I can help you in any way, please send me a message. If you need help with those keto nat drinks, that will definitely help you break that plateau. Get back on track if you've gotten off track. Just give you that extra energy, appetite control, focus, sleep. Just let me know and I'll send you information. My friends know that is not something I'm requiring you to do. You're not, you're not required to do anything other than uh, be an encourager and, and make changes every single day. Make a change every single day. So if that change means you're going to walk five extra steps every day, then make it every single day. Make a change towards a healthier lifestyle every single day, and you will thank yourself. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here and go in the house, take a shower, <laughs> and watch my Netflix show before bed, and I will see all of you guys later. Bye!